Hello and welcome back to my channel. For today's card, I'm going to make some little shaker elements using Special Delivery, Stays on Ink, and some shrink plastic. The image that I'm turning into shaker bits is this little envelope with the heart. The coloring for these are very simple. I'm using my colored pencils. I've stamped and cut many of them. Some of them will have red hearts, some of them will have pink hearts, and they will all be white envelopes. You don't have to worry too much about how the back looks. It's not going to be pretty. When this shrinks down, you won't see any of the little splotchy lines either. Now I'm just going to shrink this. I did this to all of them this exact same way. I did not put mine in the oven. I just used my heat tool. And this is what I was left with. Moving on, I have the largest of the large stitched rectangle stackables. I have cut out the middle size heart right in the center from the, what is it, reverse stitched heart stackables. And then I cut that same size out with the lacy heart die. And now I'm just masking off the very edges of my panel. I'm going to bring in my diagonal stripe stencil from Simon Says Stamp. And I'm going to take some time and I'm going to mask off every other diagonal stripe because I would like the stripes to be two different colors. Now thankfully I did have some washi tape that was just thin enough that it did fit in those little areas. Using Lumberjack Plaid I am going to ink over the entire panel. Now in order to use the tape again, I am wiping off everything with just a paper towel because I didn't want there to be pooled ink on it and then mess up the next color that I'm about to do. So all I'm doing is removing the tape and placing it one row above where it was. Once I finish that, I'm bringing in prized ribbon and I'm repeating the process. Once I finished the blue, I did decide to go over it with a paper towel just to prevent any smudges. Now that that panel is done, I can move on to my main image. I'm going to use special delivery for the little mail bag and the hat. And then I have this germ free bear and he is going to be my mail carrier. So for this, I have created some simple masks. And I'm going to use my stamp positioner just to make sure I get everything stamped in the right place. The very first thing I'm going to stamp is the little hat. And once it's in place, I'm going to add my very simple mask. Now, I did not cut out the mask fully because the bear ears, I didn't want them to stamp on either side of the hat. So for the bear, I do have a partial mask because I wanted his hand to still be shown over the mailbag. So I just cut it out in sort of a weird way where the most of the mailbag would still show you would just be able to stamp the bare hand right over the mailbag. So once the mailbag's been stamped and masked, I'm gonna add the bear. And then that's it for my masking. If you don't like masking, you can just cut out all the pieces separately and then cut the little bear arm so that he can have the mailbag tucked under him. But I didn't want to do all that. So for my marker colors today, I am using Ohuhu's. To start with, I have some dark warm grays for my bare body. If you're not confident with your shadow placement, my best tip for you is to lay out your shadows with either your mid-tone if you're somewhat confident or the very lightest color that you have if you are not confident at all and then look at it and see if it looks about right to you or if you think you messed up. Because if you mess up with the lightest color, you're already gonna use the lightest color to cover over everything anyway, so it's not really gonna matter. It is what I used to do until I got really comfortable. And then I moved into the mid-tones and then I'm now pretty confident where I place shadows. So I go straight into my dark color first. Now, since I'm making my bear a black bear, I am going to give him a little bit of a brown nose. And then I found a blue that I thought was both suitable for the color I already have on the card and just a postal service looking blue. I'm gonna color the very top of the hat and then I'm gonna color the mailbag. Yeah. 
Now I forgot to show this next color combination, but it is some more grays. They're just what I have in place for my black because I don't like to use a full black color because it kind of messes up your lines and you can't really see anything anymore. And then I want to bring in just a little bit of red. So I have this R3. I'm going to color in the little heart and that little button on the bag. I'm also going to darken up some lines on the bear using a Copic friendly or alcohol friendly fine liner. Now I'm going to make some envelopes using these little hearts that I cut out. I've cut them from copy paper and I'm just scoring them in a way that makes a little envelope. Now this is maybe a little bit fast and you might not be able to see exactly what I'm doing. You can just look up heart envelopes or something. I'm sure it'll pop up somewhere. Or if you have a die that cuts envelopes out, that would work too. Once I glue them closed, I'm going to add a tiny little heart. I believe this one came from the Say What gift tag die set from Lawn Fawn. I just had several from a previous project. Now on some of these envelopes, I am going to make it look like the front of the envelope. And I know the stamp set, the special delivery stamp set has both of the little envelope stamps in it, but I wanted something a little bit thicker and more realistic. So I have another back panel. I'm going way too fast <laughs> or I'm too slow this morning. I have colored the back panel where the heart cutout is with one of my blue markers. I have flipped over the front panel. I've added some acetate and I'm adding foam tape all around the edges. I did have to do two layers of this and I'm just trying to make sure that my little shaker bits don't get stuck anywhere. Into the front of the card, I also glued the little lacy heart border. I actually cut out the center of it using an X-Acto knife to make it into a window. And I'm gonna place my little shaker bits. This is important that you place them the right way because if you place them with the ugly side facing up, they're gonna stay that way. Once I think everything is where I need it to be, I'm gonna to try to adhere the front panel to the back bit. And I did end up with a little bit of stickage even though I did try to use a anti-static powder tool around the raw edges of the foam tape that were showing. Anyway, I have adhered my bear. I did pop him up on some foam tape and then I have my sentiment sending lots of love, which came from special delivery. And I have stamped it out on a border from another lawn fawn die set. And then I'm just going to glue my little envelopes here and there along the panel. Once everything is adhered, my card is complete. And look at those little shaker bits. I probably could have added more, but I was worried that it would be too much. Maybe next time. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll be back with another video soon. Bye.